Welcome to the briefing. I am UVA. And I am UVB. And we are the, the UV Tonys. <laughs> Get it? UVB for Tony. Uh, let's talk sun. <laughs> Life out. School's out! Woo! A quick congrats to all of our grads. Summer's here. Now it's time for sun fun. Now we can hang out poolside, at the lake. Or go to the beach and get buried in the sand. Wherever you go, there's one thing that's for sure. The sun will be at full force. Though sunscreen may not be your thing. <sighs> like, if I put it on, then I won't get tan. Sunscreen is for wussies. Think about the alternatives. Just put it on. There are two types of rays from the sun. UVB. And UVA. See, that's where that comes in. UVB is the reason we get sunburnt. UVA is the culprit for early aging and skin cancer. Sunscreen is like a force field so these rays can't harm your skin. But you might be surprised to hear that not all sunscreens protect you from both types of rays. So when you buy your next bottle of sunscreen, spray, zinc, lotion, or gel, make sure to look for one that says broad spectrum. That'll protect you from all that schnaz. Another tip when looking for a good sunscreen is to pay attention to the SPF, or sun protection factor. Take SPF 15. This will filter out 92% of the sun's rays. Which means SPF 15 will allow a person who normally gets burned in 10 minutes to stay out in the sun 15 times longer. Which is 150 minutes. The equation looks a little something like this. Take the estimate amount of time that it would take you to get burnt. Times that by the amount of SPF, that equals the maximum sun time. How's that for knowledge? Remember, sunscreen is most effective when applied a half hour before going out into the sun. Also, you should reapply every hour to be protected regardless of what SPF you use. Don't forget the extremely fashionable choice of a hat to protect your face that much more. Now let's say you don't listen to our tips. Shame on you. And you go to the beach, hang out with your friends, throw a little frisbee, build a sandcastle. You get home only to realize you look like a cooked ocean creature. Ooh, ouch. Luckily, we have some remedies for you in that excruciating fire hot sunburn. The one best known, aloe vera. Another one is a cool, not cold, bath. Fill the tub up with cool water, add half a cup to a cup of oatmeal. <laughs> Everyone had a chicken pox? My mom made me take an oatmeal bath. Hated it. Still can't eat the stuff. Well, if you can handle it, both of these remedies are said to soothe the burning. One that you may not have heard of is potato paste. Wait, what? Yeah, supposedly you blend up uncooked potatoes to the consistency of mashed potatoes. And if it's too dry, add some water to make it a paste. You apply to skin, let it dry, and then take a shower to get it all off. I think that works. You should try it. No. Yeah, try it! No! Try it. No. So, how does it feel? Actually, kind of just makes me want gravy. Hopefully you never have to use these, but now you know. Sun rays harmful? Yes. But the sun's scorching heat is also harmful. Make sure that you stay hydrated and drink plenty of water. For heat-related illness prevention tips, go to this website. And as our motto stands, no matter what you do this summer, be responsible and stay safe. Thanks for watching the briefing. Before you go, let us know, what are your plans for the summer? Comment below or let us know on our Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Police. We are the Tonys. With Club Up. Have a fantastic summer. Bye.